Hey guys, welcome to another video. So today I'm going to be doing a first impressions and almost like a review of the new NARS holiday palette for cheeks. So I just bought it today and I went to the boutique here in LA and I told Justin, you know, the guy that works at the boutique, he's also a friend. Um, I don't, I haven't swatched it, I haven't touched it, I haven't done anything to it because I trust it. I know that the blush um, palettes for NARS are a very big deal every single holiday because it always sells out and it, they always put a lot of money and effort into it. So naturally I just, you know, assume that it's gonna be good. So I'm gonna take this out of the box, we're gonna try it out and see if it's that good. I never unbox things, so I guess we could do like an unboxing of this today. I know it's not out in a lot of places, but if you do live in LA and you, or you have like, or New York, you know, and you have a boutique close to you, you can actually get it at the boutique. So this is what the box looks like. You can see there is a amazing, very hardcore um, makeup application done on the model in the front. It says NARS on it. It's called Hot Tryst. I don't know what that means. Alexa, what's the definition of T-R-Y-S-T? Trist is usually defined as a date, usually with a member of the opposite sex or, alternatively, a secret rendezvous, especially between lovers. Ooh. So this one's called Hot Trist. If you didn't know what Trist is, now you know. You're welcome. I always saw this channel as an educational channel and now I really feel it. I'm gonna try to unbox this like as close to the mic so you can hear all the unboxing noises that I'm about to make. If you're into ASMR, I got you. Okay, now I'm gonna swatch the palette. So you can see it comes with six colors. There's like a bronzy, no, these are all blushes actually. There's a really cool tone one. There's a bronzy, plumish, like a mauveish color, coral. You got a soft, soft pink, a highlighter shade, and then a champagne shade. So two highlighters, four blushes. I can probably use them all on my face, you know, so we can try all of them today. I'm gonna swatch them on my hands so you can see what it looks like. And I'm gonna start with the highlighter. Okay, so this is the first color. That was King's Road. Now we're gonna do Friction, which is the second highlighter. Now we're gonna do Swindle. The highlighters are very shimmery. You can see the blush is not as shimmery as the highlighter, so that's a good thing. Now we're gonna do the corally one, which is called Bowery. And now we're gonna move on to Untamed. So this one has luxury, this one has a little bit more shimmer, which is like the deep pink. And lastly, Adrenaline. So there you go. These are all the shades. They look very pigmented. All of them have a little bit of shine. Uh, the ones that have the most shine are the highlighters, of course. So it's a little bit different than the blush because I don't think the blush is as pigmented as these guys are because these are almost like eyeshadows. They're very beautiful, actually. I would use all of these shades except for maybe the really bright pink because that might turn really ashy on me. So I think what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna apply 
all of the shades except for Swindle. And I'm gonna use Charlotte Titsbury's um, powder and sculpt brush. I love this brush. It's such a good one for your, like precise application. If you've never seen me do blush, bronzer, highlighter, things like that before, I like to start out with bronzer, then the blush, and the highlighter. Because once you put the highlighter, you can blend everything out. You know, underneath, same with the blush, you can blend the bronzer out. So that's why I do it that way. I have makeup on, so I have concealer, I have a cream contour. I don't have any highlight. This is actually my natural glow. Because there is such a thing. So let's start with the darkest color, shall we? And I guess I'll use a mirror too. So that was adrenaline. That's already coming out pretty strong. Okay, so there's a little bit of adrenaline. Oh, this is really strong. I gotta blend it out. There we go, so that's adrenaline pretty strong. I would probably use it with like a darker lip, you know, um, cause you can see it a lot. It definitely draws like a line. Um, next I'm gonna use um, <laughs> Untamed, which is super pink. Why am I applying all of these? This is crazy. Okay, this one actually blends the other one. Oh no, it's very, very strong too. So don't let this fool you guys, like it may seem like, oh my god, I'm gonna hang out with, you know, have fun with my blushes. They're very pigmented, so you, you wanna dip your brush in the pan once, and that's it. Cause you can see it gives me a lot of color, and I just barely put it on. Which is a good thing, which means it'll last me a long time. Okay, now I'm gonna do the coral, and I'll probably apply a little bit more of the coral to tone down everything else. That's what I think it's gonna happen, but it's probably not gonna happen. I'm gonna put it on my temples too, because I actually like this color. There you go. Yeah, it doesn't look too bad. And then for the highlighter, I'm using Friction, so this is the darker highlighter. And you can see it's very pigmented too. So very Instagram moment. And then I'm gonna use the lighter highlighter on top of it. So this one's called King's Road and I'm just gonna use it to accentuate some areas. There you go. Okay, so it looks really nice. I think I like this cheek better. Like the application is a lot better on this cheek than this one. This one you can see a little bit of patch because I've underestimated the pigmentation of the blush. It's a very pigmented product. So if you're a makeup artist or if you're just, you know, kind of wanting to save money in makeup, this is a really good palette to have. I feel like it's gonna last you a long time and a little bit goes a long way. This is probably not the best brush to apply it with because it is more of a concentrated brush. If you do want to use a small brush, though, I would recommend tapping your brush on the pan very lightly first and then working it out. I'm going to use a little bit of translucent powder to see if it fixes it. Yeah, I think I applied way too much, so I have, probably have to remove my makeup and reapply. I wanna see what it looks like with a uh, setting spray. Yeah, it looks a lot better with the setting spray on top of it. It really blends all the colors in together. Um, all right. I actually like this blush a lot. I feel like it's a good buy if you're trying to experiment with a lot of different colors. 
if you want something as pigmented almost as a shadow because the pigment's really strong. And I get why it's strong, you know, because it's, it is a punk rock type of attitude-y um, collection. So they want it to be like super, super, you know, pigmented. I love that there's a two highlighters on it. So you could use like the more natural one for every day. And then you can use the very light one just to kind of accentuate little parts of the face. They have really nice shine and the blush selection is really pretty as well. I can see myself blending the blushes together, you know, to create different colors. And it's nice that they give you a coral, like a purple, a light pink, and a bronzy type of blush. Okay guys, that was the review. First impressions thing for the day. Let me know what you think in the comments below. If you have any, if you have this palette, let me know how you use it. I wanna know like if there's anything I'm missing or other opportunities to use a palette that I haven't used yet. To be honest, I just bought it for this badass packaging. I mean, look at how cool this is. I love having stuff like this sitting in my vanity. And to be honest, like again, I sh sometimes I buy it because the packaging is really cool. But I'm glad this came out to be a good palette too, like a cool usable palette too. All right, guys, I'm gonna end the video here. So go ahead and subscribe if you haven't subscribed. Don't forget to ring the bell button so you know when I have a new video. Don't forget to like this video. If you do like first impressions and you feel like you want me to do more, like unboxing, ASMR fun, um, like the video so I know and I'll do it for every single new product that I get so you can get off on my channel. I'll see you guys on the next one. Thanks for watching.